everyone! Welcome to another episode of GTV. And today, we have another startup founder. So, I know you've been seeing a lot of interviews with startups because I have a lot of interesting startup friends kasi na parang with interesting lives. So, I want them to share the, their lives with you. No? Kasi ako, when I talk to them, I get to learn a lot of things. So, one of the startup founders that I recently came across is um, Jake San Diego. So I'll introduce Jake and then let's pull him into this conversation. So Jake San Diego is the founder and CEO of Art Force Inc. So Jake started his career in advertising where he helped craft and implement the communications and media strategy of today's top brands. Among them are Hinebra San Miguel, PLDT, Dunkin' Donuts. So dun palang ang dami na nating matututunan from Jake. After his stint in advertising, he joined the country's pioneer online game publishing company Level Up to take the lead in its marketing and growth initiatives and eventually leading the organization as its general manager. He then moved to Globe Telecom to build and lead its own gaming and esports unit, launching a lot of firsts for the company and for the gaming industry. Now, his endeavor in his startup is called Art4. So, hi, Jake. Hello, hi. how are you? Hi, Ginger. I'm fine. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so the reason why I invited Jake is that I got an email and finally his website is now up and running. No? Maybe, Jake, can you tell us more about Art Force? Sure, sure. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, Art Force uh, has been uh, an idea I've had ever since I was in uh, Level Up uh, in in game publishing. Uh, because uh, during that time, that was around uh, uh, 2013, 2014. Um, I came across a partner uh, developer, uh, the CC, COO of one of the uh, game developers we were working on, we were mm -hmm. working with uh, during that time. And um, he told me that uh, he's really impressed with the, uh, uh, the creativity of um, Filipino artists yeah. uh, because he had his tattoo here. Okay. He decided to get a tattoo <laughs> from uh, a, a girlfriend of uh, one of our product managers there okay. um, who was doing it for a hobby. So imagine it was just her hobby and um, she was able to impress this, uh, this guy, this American, uh, a CEO of a reputable uh, game development company. Uh, mm -hmm. And he told me that um, if only he had the resources and um, the time, uh, yeah. he would, uh, you know, get 400 artists, Filipino artists, put them in a, in a, in a warehouse and just have them create uh, awesome um, artworks uh, yeah. for, for, for anyone who would be in need of them uh, around the world, right? So, so that, uh, a sp that was the spark. Um, that uh, made me think of uh, the startup idea, which eventually led to uh, Art Force. Um, well, on top of that, uh, during that time also, uh, lumalabas na yung mga uh, e-commerce platforms. Um, it was uh, the, the way was paved by the lights of um, uh, transportation hailing or or. Uh, taxi hailing companies like Uber and then mm -hmm. Grab followed suit and then the online shopping platforms uh, yeah. particularly um, it was uh, it was just Lazada and Zalora back then and mm -hmm. I was thinking um, it uh, was really a game changer in terms of how people um, transact with each other uh, mm -hmm. To, to just get the get over the day to day uh, requirements the day to day um, you know needs in life and I was thinking what if um, there was uh, such a platform that is f exclusively for the Filipino artist as the mm. seller yeah so that it will enable them to to market <clears throat> their talents and skills mm -hmm. and uh, get a decent livelihood from it. So uh, 
that's that's how it led me to uh, the idea of uh, building this platform, um, the first ever of its kind uh, for the country, uh, with the hopes of you know up really the the, the purpose um, is to uplift the state of Filipino freelance artists mm-hmm. uh, in the country. I love it. I love your mission, Jay. So you mentioned that you got the idea like a couple of years ago. Was that a couple of years ago, or was that it was last? around twenty, uh, uh, around seven years ago? Oh, seven years ago! Yeah, around, wow. Yeah, I was still um, in uh, Level Up uh, as its general manager back then, yeah. and then I was transitioning to uh, my my uh, my next stint as. Um, a director for gaming and esports for for uh, for oh. Globe Telecom. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, I back then uh, I moved in 2015. So I said um, this might give me a chance to, since you know, when I was in gaming, pag weekends. Um, yeah. Pati yung oras namin kinakain because all of our um, IRL uh, in real life events, mga mga live events. Uh, sorry for the gamer term. Um, uh, happened during weekend, so wala rin akong time to to work on uh, the startup idea. So when I moved to Globe, uh, that's uh, what I plan to do. You know, do it as a as a side project. But uh, unfortunately, um, uh, if, if you know the how how. Uh, uh, it goes with uh, the telco industry. Uh, mm-hmm. it, you really have to devote a lot of your time. Very competitive, really, yeah. Yeah, uh, you very uh, you know uh, you have to be on your toes all the time. So mm-hmm. I also didn't have the uh, the bandwidth uh, to accommodate you know yeah. um, giving giving life to to the startup. So finally, uh, I took a leap of faith uh, last year uh, with the blessings of my wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, to to uh, quit my corporate job and uh, start my own company, and you know, give this this thing a, sh- a shot. Yeah. So I'm really curious, Anjay. Like, what made you decide? Finally, decide. I mean, like, uh, your glob, your your sorry, your job in Globe must be really wonderful. No? I've met a lot of wonderful people from Globe. But like, what urged you, like, to say that finally this is? Yeah, I'm I'm finally gonna do this. I'm finally gonna jump into entrepreneurship. Um, you know, it's it's this uh, it's uh, it's this itch you can't scratch, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like uh the fear of um you know many years later telling yourself what if yeah uh so i just wanted really to give it a shot um all the more because um i uh you know you know art artists uh i have a lot of uh, friends who are uh creative people yeah. a lot of them are artists and uh, so uh, artists are close to my heart, um, and it, it saddens me that some of them uh, struggle to make a living out of their craft. Um, meron pa kang ibang kaibigan na talagang iniwan yung uh, uh, yung 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 trabaho nila na pagiging artist yeah. uh, para makahanap ng ibang job abroad. Um, yung you know, odd jobs like being you know. Uh, security guards or uh, executive assistants which is fine totally fine mm-hmm. pero nasasayangan lang ako doon sa they they would have to resort to that just yeah. to um uh, earn a living for their family uh, yeah. secondly um i wanted really uh, a solution for uh, aside from di- diaspora i wanted a solution for an alternative solution for people to be able to work um, at their own pace, mm-hmm. um, work without having to work anywhere, without having to be bothered by I would need to set four hours in a day just to commute yes. to get to to work, right? Um, and the comfort uh, and the the benefit, the big. One of the biggest benefits, I guess, me being a family man, is 
to enable these people to ha have more time with their family, to spend more time with the family, right? So that yeah. they will be able to uh, also, in a way, in an indirect way, I wanted to contribute to nation building by making the basic unit of society, the family, stronger, right? Mm -hmm. So so that's also what spurred me to, to really, you know, um, bite the bullet and, you yeah. know, give it a shot. That's so nice. So thank you for sharing your purpose and your vision for Art for. So one of the things that probably, like, most of our viewers are wondering, like, um, how do you sign up for this? I'm sure that, that there are artists there watching this. Like, how do I sign up for it? And for clients, is this like for the local scene? Is it only for clients in the Philippines? Or can clients who are also watching from outside the Philippines um, book artists here? Okay. So uh, your first question, how to, uh, to register, is very simple. You know, you can... Uh, just uh, go to our website, artforce.com. Uh, just type it in your browser. I'm sure you're going to get there and just sign up. You know, signing up for an account is free. So during the, the signing up, uh, the registration process, you're going to be asked whether you're an artist or you are looking to hire artists or both, right? And um, uh, part of our business model is uh, make um, the sellers of the marketplace because this is a marketplace. You know, there are buyers. These are the clients looking for uh, uh, creative people and mm -hmm. the sellers. These are the, se the, the creatives themselves, right? Selling their services, right? So uh, our business model is that uh, since we are pro-Filipino artists, this is exclusively for Filipino artists. Um, right now, um, due to limitations, certain limitations, we can only accept uh, those locally based. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're a client, we would love to have you wherever you are. You know, mm -hmm. um, our our guiding, like our our vision for the company is to spread Filipino artistry across the globe. So it's Filipino artists, um, you know, doing. Uh, amazing creative work uh, for anyone who who needs them. So um, yeah, yeah. So in terms of the artists, like, are you just talking about like graphic artists or any type of artists? So um, the 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 current setup is we are concentrating on uh, graphic artists and designers. Okay. Um, because it would be the easiest uh, for us to uh, kick this off um, because there, it's, it's uh, you know, digital art is yeah. it's digital. So you don't have to worry about logistics at all. Um, everything is done uh, online and all you have to have really is, is a machine and an internet connection, right? Yeah, that's to true. To, to transact. Um, having said that, we are not limited to uh, just uh, graphic arts. Mm -hmm. um, the long tail of this is we eventually, we will be adding up different uh, creative verticals. So we're going to add definitely writers because mm -hmm. that's also a strong suit. Um, yeah. There are a lot of Filipino writers being commissioned because of our good grasp of uh, the English language, right? Which yeah. is the international language. Um, and after that, you know, once, once we get the writers on board, um, we can also do, uh, you know, video editing content for content. Nice. Editors, yeah. um, multimedia artists, right? So that, 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 that would be our third um, vertical yeah. um, and after that uh, we are looking at other uh, uh, creative types like uh, photographers you know for simple product shoots yeah uh, you know where artists uh, the clients can just set send mm -hmm. their uh, product samples and uh, the photographer can just do their shoots at their home studio um, and sound you know oh yeah sound, uh, people forget uh, that sound yeah. production because, you know, Filipinos, we have a penchant for uh, music, mm -hmm. right? We have a lot of uh, not only good singers, but musicians, arrangers, 
uh, composers, jingle makers. So that's that's another vertical that we are looking at. Wow. Yeah, but eventually this is you know that's 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 what art force is. Uh, but there's nothing that's going to stop us from eventually opening it up to a broader um, set of uh, freelance work uh, mm -hmm. that, that can be accomplished uh, online. But for now, uh, since uh, uh, this, is, this is our chosen uh, path. I love it. I love it, Jake. So I'm sure like since being, um, since you were part of like the corporate world for the longest time, I'm sure like this scenario that you're in right now, like being a startup founder, it's totally different from what you're used to. No? Any, any insights or experiences that you'd like to share with regard to that? Um, well, it's, it's definitely uh, different because uh, as a founder of a startup you uh, you know a lot of uh, founders can probably relate you, you start on your own literally it's just you right uh, you do everything from uh, you know writing uh, the business plan um, doing your spreadsheets um, coming up with uh, the decks that you need uh, to show the idea, uh, being an HR manager, you know, <laughs> hiring people. So uh, I guess uh, my years of experience in corporate actually helped me a lot uh, because I was, uh, you know, from from a specialist in advertising before yeah. to uh, uh, being exposed to uh, managing a company, an online services company like level up and mm -hmm. then moving on to uh, a company which I feel would be one of the best companies when it comes to uh, engaging its um, uh, customers uh, with uh, very good user experience mm -hmm. uh, like, like Globe. So th those helped me, uh, those armed me with, uh, you know, uh, some know-how uh, to enable me uh, to do the different aspects of uh, kicking off a startup like this. Definitely, it was very challenging because unlike in a corporate setup where mm -hmm. all of you are employees, yeah. <laughs> all of you are expected to, you, you can rely on somebody. There's a department for this, there's a department for that. Sure. Um, but being on your own, uh, it definitely, uh, the cycle of being able to get from point A to B is, uh, is, is faster because there's just few, mm -hmm. but, you know, uh, to actually, uh, accomplish tasks, um, you would really need, uh, a lot of help from other people, especially those who have already done it. Right. Yeah. So I was very fortunate enough to uh, be able to find uh, partners at the early stage. One of them is a is a lawyer. He's a startup lawyer. Um, you know, I just engaged him for his free legal assistance that he was <laughs> offering to start up those who were thinking of uh, putting up startups. And so he he helped me set up uh, the the company. And then um, nice. my other partner is. Uh, is who helped me out in doing market research initially mm -hmm. and who is a like-minded person. He's, he's, he's a, one of the premier uh, freelance graphic artists. His name is AJ Dimarukot. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. He, I've he, met AJ, he was, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So he, he does this um, workshops called How to Be a, a New OFW, Online Filipino Worker. So mm -hmm. he's... His, um, his trust is also to share what he knows to help other people. Both, both AJ and I and um, Attorney Abe, Abe Samis, that, mm -hmm. that's my, uh, uh, our car set, my, one of the shareholders also. All of us are from UP, coincidentally. Mm -hmm. you know? so, so, you know, the, the desire to help, whenever you, you know, uh, if you graduate from UP, you'll always see during graduation, 
uh, plastered all over the uh, graduation grounds serve the people serve the country yes. right so in a way this is this is me heeding that call to, yes to finally be able to in my own way um, uh, improve the state of our country and our um, countrymen yeah that is so true no like anything that we can do to help out our countrymen so that they don't need to leave the philippines just to find exactly. like decent work diba? and and livelihood for their family so this is this is great work jake so uh maybe as my last question like there are a lot of people who are thinking of starting their own companies in 2021 since we're about to end the year so you may uh do you have like some uh, tips that you want to share with them? Oh, uh, you know, don't be afraid to uh, try out uh, new ideas. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, if you feel strongly for a certain thing uh, and if you think that there's a market for it, um, go for it. Uh, obviously, it's uh, not going to be easy and it's not going to be like uh, it's not easy that you know even if you have the resources you can launch it within mm. x days right within 60 days 90 days um, but you have to do uh, a thorough research uh, and you have to be sure of yourself that you want to do it because yeah. at the end of the day if you're passionate about something, no matter mm -hmm. how hard, right? And uh, no matter how long the, the, the journey might be you'll, be, you'll be able to um, continue because you're enjoying it, eh? right? So, yes. So if your, your, your purpose for doing it is really clear, uh, as Simon Sinek would, would say, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, everything is going to follow, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, Jake. Th those are really inspiring words. No? And I really can see that you're really clear and bent on doing this mission no, for, for the Filipino people. So I wish you all the luck for Art Force. So if you guys want to check out Art Force, we'll leave the link on the description below. So please, please do sign up if you are an artist and if you're a client, no, you can look for artists in that platform. So thank you again, Jake. I hope to have you again here soon. Oh, uh, I'd be glad to. Thank you for having me. All right, so that's it for today for, to our viewers. Thank you for watching GTV. So if you like this video, click on like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell for more videos like this. Again, this is Ginger Arboleda. Have a great day. Bye. Your, your, sorry, your job in Globe must be really wonderful. No? I've met a lot of wonderful people from Globe. But like, what urged you like, to say that finally this is, yeah, I'm, I'm finally going to do this. I'm finally going to jump into entrepreneurship. Um, you know, it's, it's, this, uh, it's, uh, it's this itch you can't scratch, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like uh, the fear of... Um, you know, many years later, telling yourself what if. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted really to give it a shot. Um, all the more because um, I, uh, you know, you know, art artists. Uh, I have a lot of uh, friends who are uh, creative people. Yeah. A lot of them are artists, and uh, so uh, artists are close to my heart. Um, and it, it saddens me that some of them uh, struggle to make a living out of their craft. Um, meron pa kang mga ibang kaibigan na talagang iniwan yung, uh, uh, yung, yung, yung trabaho nila na pagiging artist yeah. uh, para makahanap ng ibang job abroad. Um, yung you know, odd jobs like being you know, uh, security guards or... Uh, executive assistance, which is fine, totally fine. Mm -hmm. Pero nasasayangan lang ako doon sa, they, they would have to resort to that just yeah. to um, uh, earn a living for their family. 
Uh, yeah. Secondly, um, I wanted really uh, a solution for, uh, aside from di- diaspora, I wanted a solution for an alternative solution for people to be able to work um, at their own pace, mm-hmm. um, work without having to work anywhere, without having to be bothered by, I would need to set four hours in a day just to commute yes. to get to, to work, right? Um, and the comfort uh, and the, the benefit, the big, one of the biggest benefit, I guess, me being a family man is to enable these people to have, have more time with their family, to spend more time with the family, right? So that yeah. they will be able to uh, also, in a way, in an indirect way, I wanted to contribute to nation building by making the basic unit of society, the family, stronger. Right? Mm-hmm. So, so that's also what spurred me to to really, you know, um, bite the bullet and you yeah. know, give it a shot. That's so nice. So thank you for sharing your purpose and your vision for Art4. So one of the things that probably like most of our viewers are wondering, like, um, how do you sign up for this? I'm sure that, that there are artists there watching this. Like, how do I sign up for it? And for clients, is this like for the local scene? Is it only for clients in the Philippines? Or can clients who are also watching from outside the Philippines um, book artists here? Okay, so uh, your first question, how to uh, to register, is very simple. You know, you can uh, just uh, go to our website, artforce.com. Uh, just type it in your browser. I'm sure you're going to get there and just sign up. You know, signing up for an account is free. So during the, the signing up, uh, the registration process, you're going to be asked whether you're an artist or you are looking to hire artists or both, right? And um, uh, part of our business model is uh, make um, the sellers of the marketplace, because this is a marketplace, you know, there are buyers, these are the clients looking for uh, uh, creative people, and Mm -hmm. the sellers, these are the the, the creatives themselves, right, selling their services, right? So uh, our business model is that... uh, since we are pro-Filipino artists, this is exclusively for Filipino artists. Um, right now, um, due to limitations, certain limitations, we can only accept uh, those locally based. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're a client, oh, we would love to have you wherever you are. You know, mm-hmm. um, our our guiding, like our our vision for the company is to spread Filipino artistry across the globe. So it's Filipino artists, um, you know, doing uh, amazing creative work uh, for anyone who who needs them. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So in terms of the artists, like, are you just talking about like graphic artists or any type of artist? So um, the 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 current setup is we are concentrating on uh, graphic artists and designers. Okay. Um, because it would be the easiest uh, for us to uh, kick this off um, because there, it's, it's uh, you know, digital art is yeah. it's digital. So you don't have to worry about logistics at all. Um, everything is done uh, online and all you have to have really is, is a machine and an internet connection, right? Yeah, that's to true. To, to transact. Um, having said that, we are not limited to uh, just uh, graphic arts. Mm-hmm. Um, the long tail of this is we eventually, we will be adding up different uh, creative verticals. So we're going to add definitely writers because mm-hmm. that's also a strong suit. Um, yeah. There are a lot of Filipino writers being commissioned because of our good grasp of uh, the English language, right? Which yeah. is the international language. Um, and after that, you know, once, once we get the writers on board, um, we can also do, uh, you know, video editing content for content. Nice. Writers, yeah. um, multimedia artists, right? So that, 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 that would be our third 
um, vertical. Yeah. Um, and after that, uh, we are looking at other uh, uh, creative types like uh, photographers, you know, for simple product shoots. Yeah. Uh, you know, where artists, uh, the clients can just set, send mm -hmm. their uh, product samples and uh, the photographer can just do their shoots at their home studio. Um, and sound, you know. Oh, yeah. Sound, uh, People forget uh, that. Sound yeah. production. Because, you know, Filipinos, we have a penchant for uh, music, mm -hmm. right? We have a lot of uh, not only good singers, but musicians, arrangers, uh, composers, jingle makers. So that's, that's another vertical that we are looking at. Wow. Um, yeah, but eventually, this is, you know, that's, that's, that's what art force is. Uh, but there's nothing that's going to stop us from eventually opening it up to a broader um, set of uh, freelance work uh, mm -hmm. that, that can be accomplished uh, online. But for now, uh, since uh, uh, this, is, this is our chosen uh, path. I love it. I love it, Jake. So I'm sure like since being, um, since you were part of like the corporate world for the longest time, I'm sure like this scenario that you're in right now, like being a startup founder, it's totally different from what you're used to. You know? Any, any insights or experiences that you'd like to share with regard to that? Um, well, it's, it's definitely uh, different because uh as a founder of a startup you uh you know a lot of uh, founders can probably relate you you start on your own literally it's just you right uh you do everything from uh you know writing uh the business plan um doing your spreadsheets um coming up with uh, the decks that you need uh, to show the idea, uh, being an HR manager, you know, <laughs> hiring people. So uh, I guess uh, my years of experience in corporate actually helped me a lot uh, because I was, uh, you know, from, from a specialist in advertising before yeah. to uh, uh, being exposed to uh, managing a company, an online services company like level up and mm -hmm. then moving on to uh, a company which I feel would be one of the best companies when it comes to uh, engaging its um, uh, customers uh, with a very good user experience mm -hmm. uh, like, like Globe. So th those helped me, uh, those armed me with, uh, you know, uh, some know-how uh, to enable me uh, to do the different aspects of uh, kicking off a startup like this. Definitely, it was very challenging because unlike in a corporate setup where mm -hmm. all of you are employees, yeah. <laughs> all of you are expected to, you, you can rely on somebody. There's a department for this, there's a department for that. Sure. Um, but being on your own, uh, it definitely, uh, the cycle of being able to get from point A to B is, uh, is, is faster because there's just few, mm -hmm. but, you know, uh, to actually, uh, accomplish tasks, um, you would really need, uh, a lot of help from other people, especially those who have already done it. Right. Yeah. So I was very fortunate enough to uh, be able to find uh, partners at the early stage. One of them is a, is a lawyer. He's a startup lawyer. Um, you know, I just engaged him for his free legal assistance that he was <laughs> offering to start up those who were thinking of uh, putting up startups. And so he, he helped me set up uh, the, the company. And then um, nice. my other partner is... Uh, is who helped me out in doing market research initially mm -hmm. and who is a like-minded person. He's, he's, he's a, one of the premier uh, freelance graphic artists. His name is AJ Dimaruco. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. He, I've he, met AJ, he was, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So 
he he does this um, workshops called how to be a, a new OFW online Filipino worker. So mm-hmm. his his um, his trust is also to share what he knows to help other people. Both both AJ and I and um, Attorney Abe Abesamis. That mm-hmm. is my uh, uh, our car set. My, one of the shareholders also. All of us are from UP. Coincidentally, mm-hmm. you know. So so you know the the desire to help. Whenever you you know uh, if you graduate from UP, you'll always see during graduation. Uh, plastered all over the uh, graduation grounds, serve the people, serve the country, yes. right? So, in a way, this is this is me heeding that call. To, yes. To finally, be able to, in my own way, um, uh, improve the state of our country and our um, countrymen. Yeah, that is so true. No, like anything that we can do to help out our countrymen, so that they don't need to leave the Philippines just to find exactly. like decent work, the ba, and and livelihood for their families. So this is this is great work, Jake. So uh, maybe as my last question, like there are a lot of people who are thinking of starting their own companies in 2021, since we're about to end the year. So you may uh, do you have like some uh, tips that you want to share with them? Oh, uh, you know, don't be afraid to uh, try out uh, new ideas. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, if you feel strongly for a certain thing uh, and if you think that there's a market for it, um, go for it. Uh, obviously, it's uh not going to be easy and it's not going to be like uh it's not easy that you know even if you have the resources you can launch it within yeah. x days right within 60 days 90 days um but y- you have to do uh, a thorough research uh and you have to be sure of yourself that you want to do it because yeah. at the end of the day if you're passionate about something, no matter mm-hmm. how hard, right? And uh, no matter how long the, the, the journey might be you'll, be, you'll be able to um, continue because you're enjoying it, eh? right? So, yes. So if your, your, your purpose for doing it is really clear, uh, as Simon Sinek would, would say, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, everything is going to follow, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, Jake. Th- those are really inspiring words. No? And I really can see that you're really clear and bent on doing this mission no, for, for the Filipino people. So I wish you all the luck for Art Force. So if you guys want to check out Art Force, we'll leave the link on the description below. So please, please do sign up if you are an artist and if you're a client, no, you can look for artists in that platform. So thank you again, Jake. I hope to have you again here soon. Oh, uh, I'd be glad to. Thank you for having me. All right, so that's it for today for, to our viewers. Thank you for watching GTV. So if you like this video, click on like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell for more videos like this. Again, this is Ginger Arboleda. Have a great day. Bye!